Hi there, I've been asked about what books am I reading and what is in that bookshelf behind me. So I decided to make a video about what's in there, what am I reading and well that's it, so we are diving right in. So I'll just start talking. In this shelf there are books that are somehow general and not very specified. I will talk about, I will talk more about like every single one book in a, in a minute. In this shelf there are more psychological and more professional books that I'm enjoying. In this shelf there are body language behavior communication books which is like a love shelf. There's a Shakespeare, Dante Alighieri, Exupery with the Little Prince and C.S. Lewis which is more of a Christian liter li li literature and there is a more mystical one. In this shelf there are again general books, more business related and general knowledge and behind that there are my notebooks. And on the bottom shelf there are books that I didn't know where to put and there is some liquor. <clears throat> so let's start with the single books and I will just talk about some of them that I found particularly interesting. These two books are really interesting. It's a Czech psychiatrist talking about psychosomatic things and how not to burn out. This book, Your Memory, is really good one. It's talking about it's talking about how to improve your memory, how to like well use mnemonics and how to and how to simply work with it. Dan Melman, The Way of Peaceful Warrior, Brony War, it's an incredible book, I do have it in Czech language so I'm not gonna show, show you the bookcase, but Brony War has a really powerful book about the regrets that we have when we are on a deathbed, so I really recommend this one. I am looking forward to this Machiavelli book, The Prince, there are some philosophical books that I'm looking forward to read, Das Pogdara Sutra and like some more of them. The 22 Immutable Laws of Marketing, I'm in a day I'm working in marketing. There's uh, my trophy, I used to swim competitionally, there's a wooden dummy and William Morris, Mac. I used to work in a William Morris, Morris gallery in London, so it kind of became like a love brand. And there is my guilty pleasure, cigars, not very proud of that, but it's good. And there is a huge psychology book which couldn't fit into this psychology shelf. So now about this psychology shelf, there is a, the concise 48 laws of power very good book like very well known and there are more marketing books about from Austin Cleon so I can recommend them as well I've read them so kind of interesting let me put this one back and talk about this more this is the history the history of psychology very extends very extensive read kind of interesting if you want to know how it happened some more of a psychology books, but everyday mind reading. Well, interesting, but I wouldn't recommend you to read that. These are great Desmond Morris. I do have them only in Czech, but he's a British author. Great, this human, the human zoo and the naked ape. The human zoo was a game changing for me on how to look at human beings, I think. Then the psychiatric minimum, the psychiatric basics 101 and Viktor Frankl book about his life in concentration camps. Quite strong reading and then more of a classical readings. There's a personal theories, interesting books, I really enjoy them. There's a Freud from I particularly enjoy reading books written by Eric Fromm. I have already read To Have or To Be 
do have it in Czech, but he writes in English, I think, because he's uh, from Austria, from Vienna, and he ran away to US when Germany took over. Not very fun time, but this Eric from is like I really love his style and I've read like already three of his books I've read this to have or to be the art of listening the art of love and there is art of being So I'm looking forward to this one then I've read Alf Alf Alfred Adler sense of life Maslow where he's describing his pyramid the Uses of Enchantment by Bruno Bettelheim is really interesting and extensive long reading about how enchantments are, well, important for us when we are developing ourselves as we are, as we are kids. About the rituals, uh, I haven't read it yet. We are all playing a theater. Uh, yeah. Or performing I'm not sure what's the English name of this book but also interesting about the masks we are wearing in our everyday life so it's a good book as well and the human as he is by Alfred Adler good ones and there is a Apple pencil just to remind me that I can buy this stuff and now about this body language and behavior books well I could talk like 10 minutes about each of the books so I'll just pinpoint the most important and interesting ones there are more books by Paul Ekman this telling lies is an interesting book it has interesting effect on me that after reading this book I believe that lying is normal and it's nothing bad almost it's a bit dangerous but good if you want to have and like interesting if you want to know how to well spot lies there is a there is book by Janine Driver be exceptional by Joe Navarro interesting book as well many books by Joe Navarro Ekman again unmasking the face there's a quite good book this unmasking the face is quite good book if you want to let me show you if you want to practice reading facial expressions and you don't want to buy course There are books by Chase Hughes, interesting, this one in particular, 6 minute x-ray, I really enjoy this one. Again, Ekman, Joe Navarro, Scott Rouse from the Behavior Panel, the same as Chase Hughes. Great books, I really enjoy them. The one I enjoy in particular is by Charles Darwin, the expressions of the emotions in man and animal. It's a difficult read, it's old book, but really gave me a lot. And also, if you are, if you want to read the love signals by Dr. David Givens, my recommendations are definitely there. Then there is a Darren Brown with his tricks of the mind, influenced by Dr. Robert Cialdini. Great book, great book. I recommend that. And the the. Full Facts book of cold reading, again a good book on cold reading, I never really get into that, the mind control language patterns, forbidden persuasion techniques, interesting as well, and this book is also a game changer in body language, nonverbal communication in human interaction. This book is based on, on science, there is really a lot to take away from that so go for this one so go for this one in this one I do recommend Robert Bly to Iron John it's a good book and uh, I don't know what to say about these nothing very special and this shelf is a little bit more interesting again so the 4-hour work week, classics, how to speak like Ted, Napoleon Hill, key person on influence by Daniel Priestley, again a good book again, YouTube secrets, well I am 
doing the secret at the moment. Jordan Peterson book, I really love Jordan Peterson's thoughts and so I the book is good again. The Radical Candor, The Daily Stoics and here. One of the best books that I've read like in the last two years. Sapiens by Dr. Yuval Noah Harari. A brief history of humankind. Like I don't know how much to tell you how great this book is. This one was really really greatly written and this is one of the books that you can read for in like for like four hours in raw and not get tired of it so this one is really really great then we are getting to his second book homo deus i'm planning on taking that one to my trip to london and read it in there so i will let you know later on and that is pretty much it there is some hypnosis some practical mental magic royal the Royal Road to Card Magic and stuff like that. Nothing really important that would be needed to talk more about and the booze. Let's go to another place. So what do you say so, so what do you say so far? Still enjoying the video? There are a bit more books that I want to cover, so let's do it. There is a book about philosophy. It's the new book. I didn't sort it in a bookcase yet, but it will go in there. And this is a filter coffee book because I love coffee. I love the culture around coffee and filter coffee is my well favorite one. These books are somehow in, somehow important for me and I read them recently. Better Small Talk by Patrick King. I have met with Patrick, you can see it over here. We, we've met in Prague and well it was a great meeting and this book is like 70% the same as my course on how to master a small talk so it, I found it funny and I wanted to reach out to him and he was around so we went to grab a dinner together and Art of War by Sun Tzu it's a philosophy and really interesting one now I'm reading The Picture of Dorian Gray I'm reading that just like when I'm tired in the night and I don't know what to do else and the status game again one more game-changing book for me will store is talking about well social positions and how we use it great book i know how to what to tell more about it but it's been eye-opening for me and it's changing my perceptions of status games so i really recommend you if you are into that that things some other books like from Desmond Morris especially and some others like the digital body language as well are on my iPad. I'm not going to show you that because I do not have it ready. Some are on my computer and some are, some are in my phone. And, and that basically is it from the books that I have at the current place where do we live. I do have some other books in my parents but Unfortunately, I can't show you these. So, let's get back to a normal setting. Thank you very much for watching the video. It's been a pleasure for me to talk about books. Always, I love books. If you want to talk about books, please leave a comment down below. Any questions that you might have. And if you want to discuss some book in person, you can leave me a message on Instagram, LinkedIn, wherever you need to. And I'll be very happy talking to you. So that's it from me today. And I'll be looking forward to you in the next video. Meanwhile, you can check this video. And I'll be looking forward to see you there. Bye.